dear students from today onwards we shall start the ctr need coaching classes so i will tell you few words about uh, neat and ct examination in ct examination question paper is for 60 marks each question carries only one mark that is 60 questions 60 marks but in neat examination it's not like that each question carries four marks there are 90 questions means totally you are supposed to answer for 360 marks but uh, physics and chemistry you are going to answer only for 45 questions it means the biology is double when you compare to the physics and chemistry so that's why biology is uh, most important subject in neat examination and also somewhat easy when you compare to the physics and chemistry examination so that's why prepare well in biology okay the questions in examinations are mcq multiple choice questions it means one question is followed by four alternate answers you have to select one answer one answer means some of the questions some 20 questions are very easy other 20 questions are it requires uh, uh, some knowledge but another 20 questions they are quite difficult questions requires more knowledge or the extra reading also it requires another very important thing is all the questions are based on your ncert textbook no questions ka appear from outside this book okay today we shall start a second puc part the first chapter that is uh, reproduction in organisms okay the first question is like this the period from birth to the natural death of an organism represents and such gametic phase sporophytic phase life span life cycle you must answer you must know the answer for all the alternate questions then you are answer will be definite okay gametic phase is not the answer because in the life cycle of an organism that is only in in a plants we come across gametic phase we don't come across in the animals so here question is organism organism means it refers to the both plants and animals that is why gametic phase is not the answer sporophytic phase also comes under only in the plant plant kingdom we don't have any sporophytic phase in life cycle of animals that's why these two are not the answer then one more answer is there that is the life cycle life cycle means the whole from birth to the death how the organism live that is the life cycle one more answer is there life span so life span is the answer so just mark life span 
What is lifespan? You must know the meaning of lifespan. Lifespan means it is the birth of an organism up to the natural death. We call it as lifespan. That is the period from birth to the natural death of an organism is called lifespan. Okay. So you mark just lifespan. The answer. Ah, now we shall pass on to the next question. Second question. Which of the following has the longer lifespan? Longer lifespan. You know, all organisms do not have the same type of lifespan. Lifespan varies from one organism to another organism. Lifespan So, yes, two or so, So, which of the following is the long, longest lifespan means? Butterfly. See, butterfly live only one or two weeks. Short lifespan is there. Parrot. Parrot lifespan also varies. It depends upon the species. From 20 to 140 years. That's. Then crocodile. Crocodile lifespan also varies. So, so the crocodile uh, may live up to 60 years. Giant tortoise. It is the answer. Tortoise live more than 140 years. It is the answer. So giant tortoise is the answer. Next question. Third question. See, single-celled animals are said to be immortal because, you know the meaning of immortal? Immortal means never die in the Sattva Mortal means Sattokta Kantadu. Immortal Andra Sattokta Hage Badkirta Kantadu. You must understand the question clearly. Single celled animals are said to be immortal. You know, single celled animals means mainly the bacteria or the lower organisms. The whole uh, organism is made up of only one cell, say bacterial cell, amoeba, paramecium. So the members of the phylum protozoa, they are single cell. Okay. How they are immortal? Look at the answer now. They continue to live at their daughter cells. Sorry, as their daughter cells. They grow indefinitely in size. They can reproduce throughout their lifespan. They can tolerate 
any degree of change in temperature now let us analyze the answers they continue to live as their daughter cells it is the answer for this question they continue to live it means you imagine the amoeba it is made up of only one cell the cell divide and produce two daughter cells these daughter cells also again divide and produce two daughter cells they also divide and produce two daughter cells it means they never die the cell divide and produce new cells then cell daughter cells again divide and produce new cells death will not occur that is why single celled or animals are said to be immortal okay this is the answer they grow indefinitely in size it's not the answer so single celled organism will not grow indefinitely you know they can reproduce throughout their life span of course the living organisms reproduce uh, and produce young ones during their life span okay they can tolerate any degree of temperature it means uh, even if the temperature uh, varies the temperature varies uh, and they can tolerate uh, some of them are living in uh, uh, zero degrees and others are living in high temperature so it's not like the uh, it's not the answer okay so now we shall pass on to the a uh, next question in animals juvenile phase is followed by what in animals juvenile phase is followed by what means reproductive phase vegetative phase old age senescent phase hmm? you know the life cycle of a plant or an animal got three phases one phase first phase we can say now it is called the vegetative phase in case of plants in case of animals it is said to be juvenile phase not the vegetative phase vegetative phase means now on the seed in hakidaga germination nagate gida beliyutte for example you take mango seed gida first belitate by producing stem branches leaves yole ento varsha beliyutte huwa bitiradilla this period we call it as vegetative phase okay the re- uh, juvenile phase the same thing in the animals if you examined in animals you chikkar iradaga on the 14th years old you are you're said to be young when you reach the adolescent it is different adolescent stage so this is juvenile stage then after completion of the juvenile stage 
the reproductive stage comes during this reproductive stage the pl maybe plant or animal start to reproduce okay that is the reproductive stage is the second phase after the organism reproduce then it will reach the senescent phase senescent means means the last phase you can say now the age old age phase, like that it reaches then the organism it will be die okay so thus there are uh, uh, three phases juvenile phase or vegetative phase reproductive phase and senescent phase so here the answer is reproductive phase after completion of the juvenile phase the reproductive phase starts okay now we shall pass on to the uh, next question which of the following sequence of organism is correct with respect to life ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಯಾವುದಿದೆ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾವುದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ರೂ ಕ್ರೊಕೊಡಾಯಿಲ್ ಎಲಿಫ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾನಿಯನ್ ಅಡ್ರೀ ಓಕೆ which of the following sequence of organisms is correct in, in respect of life spans okay now the banyan tree got highest life span that is nearly 2000 years and more next comes parrot it lives another 40 years it's mentioned in your textbook ncrt book also and followed by elephant it lives 60 years some then the crocodile so it lives 50 to 60 years crow it leaves it's a bird it's only 15 minutes i'm uh, sorry 15 years 15 to 20 years you may take so the answer is banyan tree parrot elephant crocodile crook this answer is in a descending way is there it is left path okay left span means it is not like that if i say he it lives 15 years 15 to 20 years it will not die 15 years it will not die at the age of 20 years exactly it is the approximate age that what we call life span ಎಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಷ ಬದುಕಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದೇ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಯು ಸಿ ದ ಅನದರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಐಸೋಗಮಿ ಅನೈಸೋಗಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಊಗಮಿ all are found answer chlamydomonas eurotrix oscillatoria spirogyra okay now what is this isogamy anisogamy and dugamy see 
in case of plants the sexual reproduction occurs during that the sex cells or gametes produced okay the male gamete is called the sperm or in lower plants we call it as anthrozoid and the female is called female gamete okay sometimes we call it as uh, the egg or the ovum or ogonium okay now depending upon the type of gamete sexual reproduction in plants classified into three types isogamous type of sexual reproduction anisogamous type of sexual reproduction and oogamous type of sexual reproduction isogamy as the name indicate iso means similar gamy means gametes the two gametes male and female produced are similar in size and shape such gametes are called isogametes the type of reproduction is called isogamous type okay for example what we say chlamydomonas produce such type of gametes then anisogamous anisog means different size the male and female gametes are in different size male gamete is small the female gamete is big the type of reproduction is called anisogamous type of reproduction say for example this sargassum even man is good example for anisogam type of reproduction the members of the class uh, of class what to say few face the brown algae they they produce uh, or they show anisotropic sexual reproduction then another type is oogamy what is oogamy whenever the female sex organ is oogonium such a type of reproduction is called ugamous type of sexual reproduction for example chlamydomonas some species of chlamydomonas shows ugamous type of sexual reproduction so here the answer is chlamydomonas chlamydomonas shows all the three types of reproduction isogamy and isogamy and oogamy in eulotrix it reproduce asexually and sexually asolatoria it is a blue green algae alga it reproduces vegetatively no sexual reproduction that's why it's not the answer spirogyra it reproduces sexually by the production of a uh, similar gametes what we call it as isogametes and the reproduction is what we call conjugation type okay here the answer is clamai domo nos okay next some questions are like this say matching questions 
మ్యాచ్ ఫాలో అయ్యి కాలం ఏ విధడ్ ఆఫ్ కాలం ఆ బి క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆల్సో లైక్ దిస్ సమ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ మ్యాథ్ సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ మ్యాథ్ ది ఫాలోయింగ్ అండ్ చూజ్ ది కరెక్ట్ కాంబినేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ది ఆప్షన్ గివన్ A column having the organism. In the B column, approximate lifespan is there. Lifespan usually mostly code alarms to the examination only. Okay. Now, left side of organism is there. Right side of lifespan is there. Okay. butterfly let's say go through the 60 years 740 years 15 years so to two weeks butterfly leaves or having only short life span that is uh, what to two weeks crow it leaves only only 15 years but so it's a bird then a parrot the parrot lives 140 years you know it's all it's also a type of bird but a different species of parrots are there some species live even up to 140 years then next one which is that crocodile crocodile uh, it lives or uh, some 50 to 60 years 60 years answer is there so the answer is now third one is the answer okay third answer is the right answer so like that questions appear okay now we shall see the other question the eighth question math column first with a column second and select the correct option again it's also a math the following type question is that okay now in one column monocarpic obatalic polycarpic heterothalic is given in the other column the plant is given muco bamboo rhizopus human mango is there so monocarpy what is monocarpic see some plants produce flowers and fruits only one time in their life cycle after completion of the vegetative phase the plant start to reproduce phase in the reproductive phase it produces the flowers and then the fruits then it will die you know now bale gida anta karitivi onde sate hua bidadu of course kada kadda hak bidti now you know here the mucor is the fungus not the ants bamboo bamboo is the answer bamboo it grows first vegetatively 
after 50 years or 100 years it grows vegetatively then it produces flowers and fruits it will, then it will die in the lifespan it produces only ones the flowers and fruits such plants are called monocarpic plants a very good question okay next homothallic homothallic this refers to sexual reproduction in case of fungi in fungi we come across two types of sexual reproduction homothallic and heterothallic one homothallic means both the male and female appear similar it's almost like a isogamous type of sexual reproduction like that okay the mucor is a good example for such type mucor we call it as bread mold then polycarpic example rhizopus not the answer human not the answer mango mango is the answer polycarpic means the plants which produce flowers year after year mango tamarind dunsemara bevinmara polycarpic heterothallic so i already mentioned some of the fungi in which uh, the male and female is identified the thallus or the mycelium identified for example rhizopus okay the answer is that next match the organism with its chromosome number in meiocytes and in gametes respectively it is also one of the important question in the neat examination we may expect this type of question and also appeared previously so now just go through name of the organism meiocyte and the gamete okay meiocyte means the cell which is going to or the cell which is undergoing meiosis that is meiocyte diploid cell usually gamete you know the gametes contain haploid number of chromosomes that is n number of chromosomes okay human beings human beings the diploid number is 46 the gametic number is 23 okay hence v7 av7 house fly it meiocyte meio meiocyte contains 12 chromosomes and naturally of main 6 that is the sec answer the rat diploid cell contains 42 and the haploid one contains 21 dog so which consists of 78 chromosomes in diploid cell and uh, 39 they have diploid or gametic cell cat 38 chromosomes and 19 chromosomes in its mere gamete fruit fly a very important one what is that fruit fly drosophila melanogaster yet diploid number the haploid number is only 4 onion which contains 60 chromosomes the haploid number is eight here answer is tapagide rice 
ట్వెల్వ్ యాపల్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ ఆ రైస్ ఓ సారీ రైస్ థర్టీ టూ సిక్స్టీన్ యాపల్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ డిప్లాయిడ్ నెంబర్ అప్లాయిడ్ నెంబర్ ఈజ్ సెవెంటీన్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ విషల్ పాస్ అంటుంది ఎసెక్చువల్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ రీప్రొడక్షన్ యునో ది ఆర్గానిజమ్స్ హ్యావ్ టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ రీప్రొడక్షన్ ఎసెక్చువల్ అండ్ సెక్చువల్ రీప్రొడక్షన్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ద మెథడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎసెక్చువల్ రీప్రొడక్షన్ ఆస్ప్రింగ్స్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఆర్ జెనెటికలీ ఐడెంటికల్ టు ది పేరెంట్స్ ఆస్ప్రింగ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఆర్ జెనెటికలీ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది పేరెంట్స్ ఆస్ప్రింగ్స్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ మే ఆర్ మే నాట్ బి ఐడెంటికల్ టు ది పేరెంట్స్ నన్ ఆఫ్ ది అబౌ ఇయర్ ది ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఆస్ప్రింగ్స్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఆర్ జెనెటికలీ ఐడెంటికల్ టు ది పేరెంట్స్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ ది ఆన్సర్ now we shall pass on to the next question a clone is a group of individuals obtained through apomixis amphimixis syngamy both first and third answer is apomixis apomixis you know production of uh, individual without meiosis and even gamete formation you can say clone next the term clone is used to describe such dash and dash similar individual chemically and genetically physiologically and chemically morphologically genetically morphologically metabolically the answer is third one morphologically and genetically a clone means it resembles its parent morphologically similar andre nodadike onde tara irutte parent tarane irutte genetically also same because here meiosis has not taken place crossing over has not taken place see ಒಂದು ಎಲೆ ಬಳ್ಳಿ ಇದ್ದ ಅಥವಾ ದಾಸ್ವಾಳ್ ಇಡಿದ್ದಿದ್ದ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಒಂದು ಹತ್ತು ಪೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಹತ್ತು ಪೀಸೂ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಥರನೇ ಇರ್ತವೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ಲೋನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಮಾರ್ಫೊಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ to the parents okay next asexual reproduction is common among bacteria plants and animals animals with simple organisms multi multi no, multicelled animals multicelled means uh, having many cells plants and animals with simple organizations a sexual reproduction is common among the bacteria or you can say lower organisms in protists and monirans a sexual reproduction occurs by budding binary fusion gonidia multiple fusion by binary fusion 
binary fission means one cell divided and gives us two dot cells okay vandittu eradu aagtakkantaddu in yeast cell division results in a small cell here read carefully results in small cell bud clone branch offspring answer is clone because the offspring is the clone uh, sorry uh, daughter cell but uh, gives rise to daughter cell which is a uh, a similar to the parent that's why it's nothing but a clone next fleshy buds produce in the axil of leaves which grow to form new plants when shed and fall on the ground are called bulbs bulb bills tubers of sight the answer is bulb bills in case of agave americana agave plant what you call kathali the flower bud develops into new plant you know now we see da kire matton gida barutte stem ma kire matton gida barutte illi hangalla flower bud da kire matton gida barutte okay it's a type of vegetative reproduction or propagation in case of again americana okay answer is bulb bills next the terror the term terror of bengal is used for bengal tiger water hyacinth algal bloom aquaporins bengal terror of bengal means answer is not the bengal tiger it's not the animal water hyacinth what i have seen icornia crassipus is commonly known as water hyacinth it is called terror of bengal because it cannot be eradicated easily that's why it is called terror of bengal okay id kerenel bantu andre onsatte ಕೆರೆ ತುಂಬ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ರೀಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ರೇಟ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕಾ ಒನ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆರ್ ಎರಾಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಈಸಿಲಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಟೆರರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೆಂಗಾಲ್ ಆಲ್ಗಲ್ ಬ್ಲೂಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸಿವ್ ರೀಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ಗೇ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಫೇವರಬಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಕ್ಕಪೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ and so next in which of the following pairs the plant can be vegetative plants can be vegetatively propagated by leaf buds i told you propagation may take place through the seed stem even the leaf nodi ele idda mattond gida tagibodu navu ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಗಿಡನ ಬೆಳೆಸಬಹುದು ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಯೋಫಿಲಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಲಂಕೆ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಕ್ರಾಜುಲೇಸಿ ದೆ ಆರ್ ಗಿರ್ಫೈಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಥಿಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಪರೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ಲೀಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ that is brave film and calling k is the answer krishanthima means sevanthi age means kathali okay asparagus halavu makkala thai okay that's all next question the end of vegetative phase in plants which marks the beginning of the reproductive phase can be easily seen in the higher plants when they come to flower fertilize pollinate none of the above come to pollinate okay now 
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन 